Bookshelf. We liked this one, didn't we, Rog? Oh, hello. Carl's told Rog and I that we have to tidy away all the things we've been playing with before we can go to the cinema. Now, what's next, Rog? Oh, yes, the table. Come on, Rog. Now, these things go in the box, Rog. That's it, and the box. Goes on the shelves. <laughs> there, all done. <gasps> the coffee table. <gasps> we were playing shops. Hmm? Poppy, have you tidied yet? Lily. What about your bedroom? <gasps> the bedroom. Yeah. Now, look, we just put these toys away and then that's us finished. Hmm. Now, put my building block and my train, go in there, that's it. And um, my racing car, vroom, vroom, vroom. I can go in there as well. There, nearly finished, Rog. Rog? Where are you, Rog? You, I must have put him in the box with the others. <laughs> my racing car maybe is under there. there. Oh. Rog? Hello. Dog. Poppy, I yes. thought you said you were going to tidy your room. We can't go to the cinema till you've tidied. Yeah, but I am, Carl. Only I can't find Rog. Hmm? He's disappeared. He's not in his box or anywhere. Well, he must be somewhere, Poppy. I'll tell you what. You look under the bed and I'll uh, sort this lot out. Right. Is he there? He's completely disappeared. He's probably in the living room. You'll have put him down somewhere. Oh, yes. I was talking to him in there just a moment ago. Oh, Rog! Come on, let's go and have a look. You never know. Now, Poppy, can you remember where you last saw Rog? Well, I thought it was in the bedroom. Mm. Where was the last time you saw Rog? No, he's not in the bedroom. We'll have to look around the whole flat. Yes, right. Rog! Rog! I can't think where you could have put him, Poppy. He's gone. Lost. Where can he be, Carl? Oh, he'll turn up, Poppy. Lots of people lose things, but they turn up eventually. Five little ducks went swimming one day Over the pond and far away Mother duck said quack, quack, quack Quack, and only four little ducks came back. That's right. Mother Duck lost one of her little ducklings, didn't she? She did, Poppy. Mm. I think she might lose some more. Four little ducks went swimming one day Over the pond and far away Mother Duck said quack, 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 quack And only three little ducks came back. Ooh, she's lost two now. She loses more, doesn't she? She does, Poppy. Mm. Listen to this. Three little ducks went swimming one day Over the pond and far away Mother duck said quack, 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 quack And only two little ducks came back Hey, see if you can join in with the actions. These are our little ducks and this is Mother Duck going quack, quack, quack. Are you ready? Two little ducks went swimming one day Over the pond and far away 
the duck said quack, 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 quack. And only one little duck came back. There's only one left now. Only one, Poppy. Do you think she might lose that one as well? I think she might. I think she might. Ready for the actions. Here we go. One little duck went swimming one day over the pond and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 quack. And no little ducks came swimming back. All her little ducks are lost. She's lost them all, Poppy. But I tell you what, I think they might just turn up. Yeah. No little ducks went swimming one day over the pond and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 quack. And five little ducks came swimming back. Oh, <laughs> they all came back. Mother duck must have been very happy. She <laughs> was, Poppy. I told you they'd come back. What if I quack loudly enough? Maybe Rock will come back. Quack, 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 no, quack, no, quack, no, quack, No, 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 Poppy, quack. Poppy, 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 I, I don't think Rog will understand quacking. Yeah. But you see, all those little ducks came back, so I'm sure Rog will. No, but I miss him, Carl. Poor Rog's all alone and lost. Maybe he's hiding. He might be playing hide and seek. Oh, yes. Rog likes hide and seek. We play it a lot, you know. Hide and seek is a really good game. It's my turn. We're playing hide and seek. Go and find a place to hide. It's my turn. I promise not to peek. Until I come to find you. Hide! I'm counting, I'm counting. We're playing hide and seek. My eyes are closed so I can't see. I'm counting, I'm counting. Promise not to be. When I'm done, I'll find where you can be. I'm looking, I'm looking. We're playing hide and seek. But there's no one that I can see. I'm looking, I'm looking. But and seek like that. Now he's gone. I won't be able to play with him again. Oh, he's only been gone a short while, Poppy. I know. And I've forgotten what he looks like already. Poppy, you have not forgotten what Rog looks like. Oh, I have. I bet you haven't. Come on, let's go over to the table and you can show me just what you remember of Rog. Oh, right. Come on. <clears throat> now, what we'll do is we'll make a picture of Rog so that Poppy can remember what he looks like. Let's have a look here now. Oh, we'll need some paper, definitely. A piece of paper here, and let's have a look in there. Oh, some good things in here for making a picture of Rog. Some scissors, some glue, and uh, some crayons there. Yep, that'll do it. Now, first of all, we'll have to draw Rog's outline, draw his shape. Now, what shape is he, Poppy? Sort, um, of, sort of square, square. isn't he? Square. Mm. Yes, with a sort of... Wobbly bit. Wobbly isn't it? bit. At the bottom, yeah. Yes, that's wobbly right. Wobbly bit like that. And yeah. at the top. Yeah, and at the top as well. Yes. So he's wobbly at the bottom wobbly. and the top. And at the top. That mm, shape. That's it. That's it. Yes. Yeah. Now, what what colour is he? Um. Sort of. Uh, yes. Sort of red, isn't it? Sort and of, white. Isn't it? So he's red and white. Yeah, but he's, like, he's like red and white checks, isn't he? He's he's like checks. stripes going that way in the other that's way. Right. Watch. I remember. There we go. That's it. That's the right colour, isn't it? Definitely. That's right. There mm. we go. Just colour those on there, and some more stripes along here. And there we go, that's checks. Red and white checks. There we go. That's like Rog, isn't that's it? just like Rog. Oh, what about his hair? Um, well, sort of curly, isn't it? Yes. Sort of, sort of curly and sticky up. This, this wool here should do it. Very so important to know his hair. Right colour as well. You could always tell what sort of mood he was in by his hair. What do you mean? Well, if he was happy, it would stick up an end and would be all curly. Yeah? If he was sad, it was all sort of... Droopy and stuck to his head. Well, I think Rog must always have been happy then. He was. Mm. We're going to need some glue for this. Stick some glue at the top there. 
That's where his hair's going to be. Turn that round. Okay. There we go. And let's stick these pieces of hair. We'll make sure that it's sticking up so, so that Rog looks happy. That's right. There we go. Is that right? That's it. Yeah, it was Rog like that, wasn't it? Happy Rog. Yeah, look. Mm. Oh, his eyes. His eyes. Yeah, I've got a great way of making two eyes out of one piece of paper. Watch this. Two eyes. Yeah, watch. Take this piece of paper here, fold it over. There we go. Uh, get the scissors. Now watch this, Poppy. If okay. you cut out one circle out of a folded piece of paper... You'll have one eye. No. Oh. Watch. Two oh, eyes. That's clever. Good. We'll stick those there. That's where his eyes are, yep. It's hard to remember, isn't it? Can you remember what Rock looks like? Oh, this is going to look just like him. There we go. One eye there. Yes. We'll put the other eye there. Well, I think we might need a bit more, a bit more glue. glue, I yeah, think. Definitely. Mm. That there. His eyes Bonk. were very well stuck. They were, weren't they? Mm. There we go. And another one there. There, there we go. That's it. That's Rog's eyes. Now, I had some little black bits in the middle. That's right. Those so he with can the see. pen. Mm -hmm. There we go. Just like that. And, oh, his nose. His, his nose. nose. Exactly. It was shiny and, and black. black. Yeah, look, I've got a button for his mm. nose. A bit more glue there. And I think... <gasps> We've got a very nice likeness of Rog. Oh, Carl. <laughs> it's not quite the same as having him here, but at least I can look at it and remember him. Oh, it's a mystery, Poppy. I don't know where Rog's got to. Oh! Somebody at the door. Must be Peggy and Why. I'll go. <coughs> I don't feel like going to the cinema now. We're, we're here, here! We're here! here. <laughs> and look what we found! Rog! Did you find Rog? No, Poppy, look! It's a hat! Mm. We found it on the way and I think it looks very smart. Yeah, it is. Mm. Can we keep it, please, Carl? Oh, I don't think that's a very good idea, Poppy. Somebody might be looking for that hat. Oh, yes. It must belong to someone. Might mm. even be somebody's favourite hat. What should we do with it, Carl? I'll tell you what. We could hand it in at the police station on the way to the cinema. Mm. Will the police know who it belongs to, Carl? Well, probably not, Poppy. But whoever's lost it will go to the police station to see if anybody's handed it in. But what if somebody finds Rog and doesn't hand him in? What if they keep him? I won't see him again. Oh, Poppy! Oh. Have you lost Rog? No. Oh. Oh, can we go to the police station and ask if he's been found? No, Just Poppy. First of all, you need to think very carefully about when you last saw him and what you were doing. Yes, and then you might remember where you left him. Um, the bookshelves. We were putting books away. What? Come on. No, he's not here. So what did you do next, Poppy? Um, we tied it up at the table. <gasps> right. We took the box from the table and put it on the shelf. Mm. Well, there's nothing there. Did mm. you go to your bedroom next, Poppy? Yes! No. The coffee table. Aha! Uh -huh. Right. Mm. So, I put the apples in the fruit bowl with the rest of the fruit. <gasps> you put what in the fruit bowl, Poppy? I put the apples... <gasps> <laughs> uh, oh, I must have put Rog in the food bowl by mistake, you Rog, I found you! Oh, hooray, hooray, Rog's, Rog's back! back. <laughs> he must have been looking at us all the time. Well, thank goodness that's sorted out. Hey, how about a story before we go to the cinema? Yes, please. Oh, yes, please. Uh, Carl, mm -hmm. could we have Kipper's toy box, please? Because um, that's Rog and mine's favourite. I'll go and get it. Oh, oh come on, Rog. Kipper's toy box. This is one of Poppy's favourite stories. Are you ready? Yes. Oh, yes. Mm. Are you ready? Kipper's toy box. Someone or something had been nibbling a hole in Kipper's toy box. Mm. Well, I hope my toys are safe, said Kipper. He emptied them out and counted them. One, two, three, three four, four, five, five six, six, seven. seven. Uh, that's wrong, mm. he said. Yes. There should only be six. Mm. Oh. Kipper counted his toys again. This time, he lined them up to make it easier. Big Owl, one. Hippopotamus, two. 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 Sock Thing, 
Three. Slipper. Four. four. Rabbit. Five. five. Mr. Snake. Six. six. That's better, yes. he said. Kipper put his toys back in the toy box. Then he counted them one more time, just to make sure. Well, yes, because sometimes it's easy to count things the wrong way, isn't it, Carl? That's right, why? One, two, two three, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, 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 eight noses. Eight. Hmm. Oh. That's too, too many noses, <laughs> said it's Kipper. Mighty... Kipper grabbed Big Owl and threw him out of the toy box. Mm. One, he said crossly. Out went Hippopotamus. Two. two. Out went Rabbit. Three. Three. Out went Mr Snake. Four. Four. Out went Slipper. Five. Five. But where was Six? Where was Sock Thing? He's look, he's mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kipper was upset. Next to Rabbit, Sock Thing was his favourite. Mm. Now he was gone. Yes, yeah, like Rog. Oh, yeah, but he came back. Mm. I won't lose any more of you, said Kipper. He picked up the rest of his toys and put them in his basket. Then he climbed in and kept watch until bedtime. That night, Kipper was woken by a strange noise. Oh, what could it be? I don't know, Peggy. It was coming from the corner of the room. Kipper turned on the light. There, wriggling across the floor, was Sock, sock thing. thing! Look, there he is! It must have been Sock Thing who'd been eating his toy box. Excuse me, Carl, mm -hmm. but, but how can a sock eat a toy box? Mm. Wait and see why. Oh. Kipper was not sure what to do. None of his toys had ever come to life before. Yeah. He jumped back in his basket and hid behind Big Owl. <laughs> Sock Thing wriggled slowly round in a circle and bumped into the basket. Then he began to wriggle back the way he'd come. Yes. He did not seem to know where he was going. Oh. Kipper followed. Quickly, Kipper grabbed him by the nose. Sock Thing squeaked and wriggled harder. Then a little tail appeared. A little pink tail. And a little voice said, Don't hurt him! Oh, it was a mouse all the time. That's right, Peggy. Yes. More than one mouse. Mm. <laughs> so it was you. You have been making the hole in my toy box, said Kipper. It was true. The mice had been nibbling pieces of Kipper's toy box to make their nest. You must promise not to nibble it again, said Kipper. We promise, said the mice. <laughs> in return, Kipper let the mice share his basket. It was much cosier than a nest made of cardboard, and the two little mice never nibbled Kipper's toy box again. But their babies did. They nibbled everything. everything. <laughs> oh, the baby mice are everywhere, look. They are. Rog and I like that story. <laughs> oh, there's oh, the bell. Everybody ready? There's the bus to take us to the cinema. Oh, yes, but first we must go to the police station. That's right, why? To hand that hat in that you found. Ooh. See you next time. Bye. 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 No. I'm glad you're back, Rog. I didn't want to go without you. Hmm? You try not to lose anything before I see you again. <laughs> bye bye.